This is swimmer Maria Brunlena, who is among the 81 athletes who will represent Kenya at the Paris 2024 Olympics. She is part of the team from the East African nation that is already in France, based in the southern city of Miramas, that is the official Kenyan pre-Olympics camp. Brunlena, the women's world 50-meter freestyle champion, is itching to leave a mark at the Games. For me, it's just the peak of swimming as it is, or it's pe the peak of any sport. Um, it's an honor to compete there, and I'm very excited, and it's a chance where I get to, you know, show what I've been training for, because I just want to do my best. Like, I'm going to try my best and give my best effort into my swimming. Team Kenya for Paris 2024 Olympics is a blend of youth and experience. Rio 2016 men's javelin silver medalist Julia Siego is gearing for his fourth Olympics. The seasoned Beijing 2015 world champion is the only field athlete in the squad. So far so good. Uh, the place is really nice. Uh, I enjoy the place. Uh, it has everything for, for training, uh, especially javelin. So the rest will take care of itself. Uh, what court has planned for me, uh, of course, and nobody can uh, deny me. So hopefully all go, hope, hope, uh, everything goes well and uh, the results will be good. An advanced party of Team Kenya is already in France, winding up their preparations for the Olympics. But majority of the medal hopefuls, the mid- and long-distance runners, are still fine-tuning their preparations at the high altitude of the Kenyan Rift Valley before heading out to Paris. Uh, at the moment, we are uh, working on the speed and the psychological part of it because when you are preparing an athlete, you don't prepare only athlete physically, but also you have to prepare an athlete mentally. So what we are working is we are working in the speed work and then mental workout, talking with the athletes, making the athletes to understand what is competition, to understand that he's going to represent Kenya, to understand that it is not going to be easy. Kenya will compete in six disciplines in Paris. As expected, athletics has the bulk with 53, while rugby and volleyball has 12 players apiece. Two swimmers, a judoka, and for the first time ever, a female fencer complete the roster. Kenya won her first Olympics medal at the Tokyo 1964 Summer Games in Japan. Since then, the country has minted 113, 35 of them gold. The class of Paris 2024 has its work cut out to pen another glittering chapter on the 60th anniversary of that first medal. Mohamed Abubakar, CGTN. Right now, for more on the final preparations of Team Kenya to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, let's now cross to our reporter, Mohamed Abubakar, who has been on location in Eldoret and whose report you just heard there for the past week. And now he joins us live from the self styled City of Champions. Mohamed, Give us an update of what you've been up to down there. Well, Mahi, I've been in Eldoret for the past four days, uh, where one of Team Kenya uh, camps, they have three camps, uh, pre-Olympic camps, that is, uh, is based here in Eldoret. We know there's an advanced team that has gone to uh, France already. Uh, majority of uh, the track uh, and field team is still in Eldoret training, the marathoners as well. Uh, people would say the bulk of the medal prospects are still in Kenya preparing. I managed to interact uh, with some of them, particularly uh, Olympic champions uh, in the marathon, uh, uh, men's marathon, that is uh, Eliud uh, Kipchoge and Perez Chepchirchir, who are eager to uh, defend their titles. We have the 1500 meters uh, female world record holder, uh, Faith Kipegon as well, eager to uh, win herself her third Olympic uh, title and we also have many other athletes who are if not gonna if they're not gonna win the gold but prospects for at least podium finishes uh, uh, Mahia right and Mohammed Kenya has topped the African medal charts in three of the last four summer games what can we expect from the country in Paris this time round Well, Kenya is uh, the most decorated team in the continent at the Olympic Games, and there's uh, a strong confidence and expectations from the Kenyans uh, for, from, uh, for the athletes uh, in Paris. And there's also, uh, uh, we have athletes as well here, and the team 
uh, coaches who are eager and have a desire to improve from their outing uh, in Tokyo where they won four gold medals and ten in total. So that uh, sense of trying to improve from Tokyo uh, gives an indication that there's going to be more medals won this time round. Uh, we have the likes of the steeplechasers who lost their dominance uh, in the steeplechase uh, in Tokyo. Uh, you can see the team are, are very confident in their preparations. We have the 800 meters, uh, the likes of Wanyonyi, the silver med uh, world silver medalist who is uh, eager to make uh, his debut at the Olympics and challenge uh, for a gold. So it looks uh, pretty uh, 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 good for the team uh, Kenya in terms of uh, medal prospects. Uh, in fact, I managed to speak earlier to the Secretary General of uh, Olympics Kenya, Francis Mutuku, and began by asking him the same question. What are the team's expectations uh, heading uh, to Paris? This is what he had to say. We have three, three clear targets. Uh, the first one is participation. Uh, we believe that Olympics is such a big event that just for an athlete to be able to be among the 10,500 athletes in the world at the Olympics, that's big and that's important. The, which follows us to the second target, which is competitiveness. We know once you reach the Olympics, then are you within the standards of the Olympics in terms of competition? And then the last one is real podium finish, uh, the, something which a lot of Kenyans relate with. Uh, podium finish is we know our athletics uh, team is podium potential. We know our rugby team is podium potential. And the expectation are that they'll be able to give their best and be able to have a podium finish. In terms of preparations, what have you done differently this time round? I, I would say the biggest thing we've done is first to go beyond the time we get the teams. In an ideal situation, we should just wait for the last few months uh, and then the federations present us. But for the last two to three years we've been engaged in federations, we've been looking at our statistics and looking at who are the most likely to qualify. We went all through with them, we worked with them, we partnered, we collaborated to be able to give every athlete, every player an opportunity to be able to qualify. Then after they qualified, where do they feel they can prepare best? And that's why you see we've had about four different places. We were those who felt Miramas had good facilities, so we sent them to Miramas. The sprinters at the field events like uh, Javelin, where Julius Yego is. There are those who felt continuing to train around the Nairobi environs would be best. And then uh, the third one was those who felt they want to be able to train in uh, uh, at this particular camp of uh, Dr. Kipchoge Keino. Mm. Before I let you go, Francis, um, an advanced team was in France. Uh, how important and crucial was Miramas uh, and the partnership uh, with Miramas uh, to uh, Olympics Kenya? Miramas has been godsend in terms of our preparation. First, our athletes, and I was just looking at one of the, uh, the players from rugby comments, are now satisfied he was with the, with the training at Miramas preparing. I think if there was any better endorsement, couldn't come from any other person than a player. Uh, Miramas was clearly the objectives we had to give our team opportunity to be able to train in top level facilities. We all know the challenge we have in Kenya in terms of facility and we were able to do that. The second one was to be able to give them in a place where they can fully focus without the distractions we know we go, uh, we face on a daily basis. Uh, the third one was to be able to get them to acclimatize. So the pre-Olympics camp has given us, not just for the athletes, but also for the mission team, to be able to get all acts correct so that we are on full gear when the team starts competing in probably a few days' time.